We've made it to the midway. How freaking cool is that? SS Midway CV forty one. Awesome, and it's even bigger. Holy cow, look at the line. Battle of Midway Theater. That looks awesome. What is that? Warhawk? Wildcat. F4F. They got birdies living in here, too. That is freaking sweet. And what we got over here? Dauntless dive bomber. Battle of the Midway Theater. Next show is at noon. Let's walk in here for the hell of it. Oh, it's closed off. Bummer. It's another good shot of the Dauntless. I brought my security guard with me, Big Josh. This is just at the entrance when you walk in on one of the lower decks. What do we have up ahead? This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be inside for a World War II class. So much taller. Oh, I bet. It's great. It's bigger. Dedication to the Midway Volunteers. Facts and figures. This looks interesting. The first configuration is 1945 to 1955. Straight deck carrier with 18 5 inch 54 caliber guns. The second configuration became an angled deck installed with 10 5 inch 54 caliber guns. 
So there's definitely a difference there. Pretty cool stuff. Some more facts and figures. Try to get this right. It's 100, no, 1,001 feet long, 258 feet wide, 45,000 tons standard displacement at commissioning in 1945, and it was 54,000 tons at decommissioning in 1992. Conventionally powered by 12 boilers, producing 212,000 horsepower. Wow. Maximum speed was 33 knots. Crew. Here's some more facts. Crew could have 4,500 members. Monthly payroll was 1.2 million. 1,500 telephones in excess of 2,000 compartments. Wow. Fresh water, 240,000 gallons daily. Meals served, 13,000 daily. 1,000 loaves of bread, 4,500 pounds of meat. Crazy. And some more facts and figures. You guys should be able to pause to read these. All right, let's move on. The Midway class of carriers. Guess this was one of the first super carriers. A tale of three sisters. So there was the Midway, the Franklin Roosevelt, and the Coral Sea. CV-41, CV-42, CV-43. Interesting facts. Moving on. Oh, do they have an F-14 cockpit that we can go into? Is that what I'm seeing? Because I'm getting excited. What do we got over here? Yeah, what it is, we've got the, the wire covered. No wheelchair ramps. Oh, look at that. Notice the uh, names on the side. Maverick and Goose. That is definitely an F-14 cockpit. And that is freaking awesome. Oh, we are totally going in there. They got a few awesome cockpits to go into. Pretty busy for a Monday. Alrighty, it's our turn to get up into the Tomcat. How you doing back there, Goose? Oh, this is awesome. Okay, the only bummer is there's no stick in the cockpit. Really? Although, I don't have a stick up here. But there is a throttle, which is rather nice. Got gear, brakes, all the usual suspects. Surprisingly, some of these are fake, but some of the gauges appear to be real. We have over here, surprisingly comfortable. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Okay, the button's pushing everything. Master arm, ready to go. That's awesome. And then let's go to, oh, these buttons don't turn. I wanted to go to air to air mode. Switch the TV up, hook down, pretty cool. Eject. Is that what this is? A lot of stuff looks really familiar in here. Some of it still looks authentic. This is actually super duper duper cool. Again, no stick. That's the major bummer. Pedals don't move much, but the throttles do. I'm gonna hop out of here and get in the back. See the Rio seat. Zooming over to this guy. 
This is super familiar. Awesome. That's missing a stick too. So, the only thing we're missing is a canopy here. That is cool, you've got Maverick and Goose. Awesome stuff. Better shot of the F-14 cockpit. And then they also have a mock-up of an A-7 Corsair II here. Not sure what this guy over here is yet. And then there's another one over there. Pretty cool stuff. This is the A7 Corsair cockpit up close. Nice head, heads up display there. Looks like we got a B8 stick. <sighs> Working pedals. Pretty nice cockpit. Looks like we're missing a throttle. Yeah, these, these old cockpits. But it's really cool that a lot of the buttons are actually still here and intact. That's pretty cool. Especially original ones. What do we got over here? Josh's hands in there. Hello. Very cool stuff. Oh, there goes my finger in the way again. All right. Here's a nice shot off the side balcony of the Midway. Off in the distance, you see a modern day carrier. Not sure what that is. Is that the Carl Vinson, you think? I think. And you got the old Kissy Sailor. Cool stuff off the bay. Nice shot of the rest of the San Diego Bay here and then back towards downtown. Pretty cool. Model comparison of America's first aircraft carrier, the Langley CV-1, and a modern aircraft carrier, which I believe is the USS Gerald Ford. Definitely a huge difference. CVN 78, the Gerald Ford. And as you noticed, these guys have F-35s all over the deck. And some, uh, looks like some drones. A couple of Super Tomcats. And I believe this guy's got those, like, electromagnetic catapults that are pretty awesome. Nice little model, nice little comparison, kind of give you an idea of the old and the new. Very cool stuff. All right, this one is for my co-worker, Joe. Here's your Corsair, Joe. I know you're gonna love this one, although I'm sure you've probably been here. F4U. Which one is this? Yeah, F4U4 Corsair. Now what do we got here? Yeah. Some guys talking about them. What's this, an Avenger? Ginormous dive bomber. Um, torpedo bomber. Hey, check this out, ejection seats. That's definitely a more modern one there. Strap in. They probably won't fit us very well. That's awesome. What do we got here? The Jet Shop. 
the marketplace. We'll check that shop out later. We got airplanes to see. Josh is thirsty, he's gonna hydrate. Grab me a water. I'm gonna look out on the deck here for a second. See what we got out here. And the first thing you see when you get up the stairs to the flight deck is a Tomcat. How freaking cool is that? Hornet, F4, Phantom, Sky Warrior. That is freaking awesome. Absolutely beautiful. This guy came from the Enterprise. F-18 Hornet. This guy looks like he's uh, got some desert colors going on. Absolutely beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful day for this. So cool. Massive drop tank. Dedication of those who served, I'd imagine. Look at the air intake. And look at this beast. Wow, beautiful. So you got some Mark 82s going on here. I'm just walking under the wing of the Hornet here. There's the tail hook. Wow, look at the tail hook on that guy. Compared to the tail hook on the Hornet. I'm guessing this guy was much heavier, because that looks like a hell of a tail hook. And this guy's ready to bomb some stuff into oblivion. He's got some Mark 82s there. Some dumb bombs, basically. Look at this. Just imagine all the stuff that was strapped on here and launched. Big old 500 pound, or 500 gallon fuel tank. I'm sure 500 gallons is a lot more than 500 pounds, that's for sure. Look at the air intakes on this beast, huh? Wow. What a profile, huh? This is a big beast. This thing doesn't do much for me, though. Let's get on down here and see what else we got going on. This is that big one. What is this guy again? Sky Warrior EKA-3. Electric Warfare Tanker. But again, this guy over here I think is the star of the show for me, the Tomcat. Him and that F-18. So far, the two most exciting ones if you ask me. Get a little close up of this guy. Some beautiful air intakes again. What we got here? ATM 54A. That thing's savage. What do we got here? We got an AIM 9. And what is this guy on the bottom? Probably a sparrow, I would have to guess. Looks about right. This guy's from VF-114. And this is another F-14A that happened to have served on the Enterprise. We'll get to this side here in a minute. There's Josh again. It is hot up here today, that's for sure. 
Beautiful day though. What do we got here? I don't recognize this guy. It's a little bitty guy. T2 Buckeye, pilot trainer. Yeah, trainers don't do much for me. Neither does that line. But it's cool that you can get in it, get pictures. What do we got over here? Aircraft under restoration. That's pretty cool. Look at this guy. There's a beauty right there. Skyhawk. Number of wires. Is that an A4? Yeah. Skyhawk? Yeah. At one point it was in the Blue Angels too. I think that was after. Wow, look at the ordinance on this thing. This makes me want to go home and play DCS with the free module. Remind me to download the free module for this for you, Josh. There's actually a free module in DCS that you can put, use this. That's badass. A look at the seeker head. This thing's huge. I'm not sure what this actually is, though. What do we got here? Mark 27, Mod 2. Okay. I'm guessing it's a laser guided bomb of some sort. It's pretty cool that they got the cutaway going on here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely cool. Smaller air intakes. Some more ordnance hanging off this side. Looks like we got a rocket pod and probably some more Mark 82s, general purpose ones. And what we got here? A Lao. Ah, Lao 10 Zunis. Five inch air to ground rockets. That's pretty big. Right? <laughs> pretty cool. What do we got down this way? What is this? A Viking S3. Anti submarine warfare. Seven that's in restoration, maybe. There's another shot going back towards the city of the entire deck. Let's see what we got here going forward. Got some helicopters. HO3S utility helicopter. Looks like this guy's under restoration, too. A hop retriever utility helicopter. Pretty cool. assembly without rotor blades. What do we have here? This is the old school here. What's this? An H3 Seabat anti-submarine helicopter. SH2 Sea Sprite utility helicopter. This looks more like Vietnam era. That's some kind of listening device for submarines there that they would drop down. Yeah, this guy's searching for subs. King, anti-submarine. This is the more modern version of what that guy over there was. Okay. 
got in here? Nothing. Right now, a whole lot of nothing, huh? Oh, wait, you do. Come in through this side. Let's see up front here, all the way to the cockpit. Oh, you can't touch the cockpit. No. They just throw the glass up there. That's a bummer. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. You got some radar stuff or radio stuff going on over here, probably. A little stuff here. Bunch of wires. Wait, Jasmine. There we go. Pretty cool collective and cyclic. Cyclic looks really cool. It's almost like a modded, modded out B8 handle maybe. Cool stuff. Cool jump seat. Lots of tie downs. This guy over here. Sure looks like a chin up, yeah. Navy one though, it's not a Chinook, it's a uh, Sea King. But basically the same thing as a Chinook, only the naval version, would be my guess. Yeah, CH-46 Sea King. I'm not even going to go in because it's going to be the same thing as the other one, you can't touch the cockpit. What we got here, Huey? Oh, uh, look at this one, this one's loaded for bear, now I'm liking this. This one's awesome. What are these guys? They're like freaking M60s on their sides. Turned into like a modified minigun of some sort. That's definitely an M60 assembly, it looks like. So they got two M60s that are belt fed. And then they got some sort of rockets going on here. And then you got this other mount over here. Which I'm sure you could put some other kind of weaponry on. This is probably for the door gunner. That would be my guess. Yeah, because that door is right there. I'm almost certain that's what that is. Did you see that, Josh? I bet you that right there is for a minigun or another 60 to put on there. Yeah. And you got the engines. Tail rotor. Rotor assembly. You know what? Out of all the Hueys we've seen so far, this one really looks like the most complete out of all these places we've been so far. Um, they might have a good one at Balboa. Well, we'll go there too. But um, the one at Tulsa was just garbage. That was freaking terrible. Sea wolves. Basically, the naval version of the Black Hawk. H60 Seahawk multi purpose helicopter. This is the kind of thing that's probably modified to bring in seals and whatnot. And another shot of the other side of this Huey, which is just absolutely awesome. It's nice to see one that's armed up, ready for action. Yeah, look, here's the uh, other side, and that's definitely for a gun. This one doesn't move quite as easy. Uh, there you go. See the box for the bullets? The rounds? It's pretty sick. This is awesome. All right, moving right along. This view is pretty freaking amazing here. And again, absolutely beautiful day here. Let me give you a shot going back down the deck here of all these helos. All the way back down to the Skyhawk. I haven't been here in 30 years. Not the Midway, but San Diego Bay. And it's 
is definitely pretty impressive today. There's the uh, sailor. What's that called, Josh? Um, is there a name for that specifically? I forget. Yeah, there is. Some kind of naval dedication, I'm sure. It's pretty awesome. carrier out there and what is that it looks like a cruiser or battleship next to it straight ahead to the left of the uh, carrier yeah no, that's not a cruiser. Looks like some is that a merchant vessel maybe over there huh. but man this bay is amazing so what do we got here a6 intruder Looks like they got a pretty cool little class going on here with an instructor giving you some facts and figures about the carrier. This place is amazing. This really is the best one I've been to yet, next to the Air Force one. Oil tanker? Yeah, you can feel it. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go, fired again. Okay, folks, that's catapulting. If there's any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Say six is pretty awesome. So it's a tanker. That makes sense. I don't know much about my naval vessels, so. Man, this deck is massive. I can't, like, stress enough, like, how big this actually is. I mean, a thousand and one feet. That thing looks beautiful. Look at that. We got another one over there. Got two intruders on the deck. This here is pretty much the uh, the tip of the deck. Haha, <laughs> I said tip. Pretty long deck, that's for sure. Nice little wind, making things a little cool for us out here. If I'd have to guess, it's probably 100 degrees out here today. But the way, yeah, exactly, the wind's making it tolerable. Nothing like that 111 degrees in the middle of uh, Yuma, Arizona yesterday on our way in. Is it 76? All right, 76, I stand corrected. Pretty cool. San Diego is the birthplace of naval aviation. markings on that guy? 71? 71. I think that's a Theodore Roosevelt, not the Vincent. Really? Not the Vincent. It was on the Vincent. Yeah, look it up. It's a pretty long video. There's some planes taking off over there. We're actually staying across the street from Miramar, which I'm going to try to weasel my way into there sometime over the next few days while I'm still here. We heard some uh, FA-18s this morning flying overhead. So it's pretty cool being right across the street from Miramar. Can't stress enough how cool San Diego is if you're a military aviation enthusiast, because just the midway alone makes it worth the trip. But there's so much stuff here in California. I think I counted 20 or so different naval and, well not even naval, just aviation museums in general. Here's another shot of a pretty intruder. Although, is this an intruder? No, I'm wrong. It's a prowler, but basically it's the same thing, only the electronic warfare version of the A6. So it's the prowler. Pretty awesome. Then we got another F4 over here. I think this is the guy we've seen the most across our travels so far. Prowler's pretty cool, but you know, I really don't get tired of seeing phantoms. What do we got here? A couple sparrows? No, nope, that's a sidewinder. AM9. These fins are pretty cool. Auxiliary fuel tank. Hey, look at this. 
this is pretty much detailing the kills. And I believe from what I heard the other day on the Fighter Pilot podcast, one of these was uh, one of the planes that maybe those dudes were flying that they were talking about on there that were the pilot guests. Uh, yep. So this guy got one MiG-19. They got a, two, two MiG-19s, two MiG-17s, and another guy got one MiG-17 with this guy. So this F-4 has a lot of kills behind it, and I would guess these were all probably during the Vietnam War. Pretty cool stuff. So we've got AIM-9s on this side as well. So this guy's definitely set up for an air-to-air -air configuration. VF-21. There's another side shot of the uh, A-6 intruder. A couple of helicopters overhead going. Those don't look like military, probably news. What is this guy carrying? You know, they've got A7 Corsair listed, but that's not what this is. That Corsair is sitting down the line there under restoration. But if you look, there's a Corsair. Yeah, it's a way for restoration. I'd probably sit right next to it. But you got the intruder right here, which is this guy. What is this? Is this the piston for the uh, catapult? So that's the rest of the line. And the cat starts right there. I bet you that's what that is. That's definitely part of the catapult. If you look closer over here. Now, at night time, we stretch that out. Set up the launch. This guy's loaded for bear, man. Holy crap. That's a ton of bombs. Insane. Now, as we look at this, I'm going to be talking about these two things. Really wish we had an A6 in DCS world. I think that would be fun and an F-4 Phantom and a Vietnam map. That would be super cool. What's this guy, Hawkeye? Airborne early warning. That thing's huge. Put a dish on top of that thing. Pretty cool. Here's the island on the midway. of the month award for the Navy. Is that what the E stands for? Yeah. So they got a couple E's, they got a D, a C, and then a W, huh? <laughs> Employee of the month. I like that, Josh. Josh is a Navy veteran, so he knows a little bit about the Navy stuff more than I do. I'm more of an airplane guy. That thing's massive. Look at that. Pretty cool. Look, they got a little display over there of all the shirts. You got your yellow, your purple, your brown, your red, your green, your white, your blue. Looks like there's another variation of red over there, too. Is that like fireman? Yeah, the... red's fire, British fire, purple. That one red has like fireman okay. pants on. This is absolutely stunning. Sorry about my wonderful camera work here, guys. I'm just winging it. What's this guy? C-1 Trader Cargo Transport. This is probably the guy that flies on and off the deck to bring 
provisions aboard would be my guess. Here's that beautiful uh, Skyhawk again. What do we got here? Look at the bombs on this guy. That's pretty cool. They, they put them on and then like put the wings up. That's interesting. What is this? Sky Raider. A1 Sky Raider. Pretty cool. Check this out. Mark 51 Cluster Bomb. So basically, this guy would pop open, it's just an outer shell, and it would drop all them little baby bomblets all over the place. They make a hell of a freaking mess. Not sure what this guy is here. It says WGU2B, not sure what that is. But that's your cluster bomb. Nice little look at the insides and the guts of it. What is this beast? I don't recognize this guy. Oh, it's Recon, that's why. R85 Vigilante. It's like it's got those crazy air intakes like the F-14 has at a glance. Pretty cool. What are these uh, bits we got over here? So those are huge, whatever they are. DATM 84Es. Harpoon. The one next to that up behind there is a harpoon. Wow. And what do we got here? Fury? FJ3 Fury Fighter. It's kind of that 50s, 60s technology. Looks a lot like a Sabre to me. F9 F8P Cougar for photo recon. That's pretty cool looking. I like this guy. This guy has character. I like how the wings fold up. Kind of has a little bit of a transformer look to it, doesn't it? I like this guy. I bet this one was fun to fly. It's small in comparison. And then look, you probably had cameras in there and shit. over this way again for a minute. Try to get a head-on shot of this guy. There's the Tomcat head-on again. I just can't quit looking at this guy. This is an awesome plane, for sure. What have we got here? A Panther. Is that an F9 something? I like how that one, the wings fold up on it too. Pretty sweet looking. And again, look at the profile on this guy. I like this guy. This Cougar's kind of neat. Almost reminds me of like a Robotech thing or something. Very cool stuff. And then back over at the Hornet again. And of course, back at the Tomcat, because everybody loves seeing the Tomcat. And that's about it for the upper deck here. I don't think there's much more up here worth looking at. Thanks for watching. Until next time. The F-14A for a second. Something I didn't notice my first pass when I did this video is here's the gun. M61A1, 20 millimeter. That's pretty cool that they have it set up that way. I did not notice that on my first pass. So I just wanted to do the supplemental video to the rest. A little bit more close up of the Tomcat because it's my favorite and with the DCS module being out it's a lot of people's favorite there's a sidewinder again and what looks to be a sparrow some enterprise markings on the back again I'll just do a quick run around see if I missed anything else on this guy
Then their fancy pilot guy. Just a quick another walk through in case I missed anything else. Hey, here's something I didn't notice before. Not sure what those are all about, but it's nice that you can reach out and touch things here. Look at these fins too. F-114. <laughs> it's, it says non-shat. <laughs> so I guess there's no shitting there. Non-shat. That's pretty funny. And then a little shot around the back end of the uh, power plants and the tail hook. And again, the most impressive thing I think about the Tomcat is when you look up here all the way to the cockpit, how far that actually is. This thing is massive. It's really hard to convey the scale of a Tomcat until you've actually seen one up close. Absolutely beautiful. Then real quick, take another peek at this uh, Hornet while I'm here. This thing's freaking awesome too. This guy doesn't have any armaments on it though. Which is all right. This guy was apparently deployed between 2005 and 2007. There's some more info on the Hornet. This is just basic info though. This is definitely not a super Hornet, I don't think. Because I would think a Super Horn, it would be bigger. This guy's basically just got a drop tank. Oh, wait a minute. There is something on the wing tip. That looks like a Sidewinder. Didn't notice that on the other side, though. Very cool. And one more quick look at the uh, Phantom while I'm here. Again, Mark 82s. This guy's loaded for bear. I'm ready to use it. Hornet. And star of the show, Tomcat. All right, guys. That's about it for the moment. Josh and I are going to get out of here and get something to eat. So thanks for watching. And until next time.